G'day guys, welcome back. Here we are, we're going to keep uh, just cleaning parts and getting ready to put them all back into the tractor. Um, so we're going to move on to, this is the oil strainer. So this is where the oil pickup plums to, um, obviously in the sump. And oil goes in through these two holes, that hole and that hole. Fills up, there's a strainer in here and out through here. So basically it's going to be full of sludge and stuff. Um, you can take the uh, strainer out. So we're going to pull it apart, clean it. Once it's clean, we'll make some new gaskets for these two spots and uh, yeah, get ready to put it back together. Okay, so we've gone through this strainer here, had it all apart. Um, I've made a new gasket to go in between this end. Uh, strainer's all clean. So now I'm making gaskets to go over this bit. Um, that's where it bolts onto the frame of the tractor on the underside. So, um, just gonna put a bit of sealant on this one and sort of stick it to that. Uh, I'll do the same with this one once I make it. And then we'll put it up under the tractor where it goes onto, there's your three bolt holes. That's just, so those two are the, where the oil just drains into the pickup. And then this is where the pipe comes back out for the oil pump. So I'll get there, I'll stick all that on. We did have drums when I did this on the pacemaker. That's why I'm using cork gasket this time to take up a bit more of the imperfections and a bit of sealant on both sides. Hopefully that's gonna be enough to seal it up properly. So I don't have to take it off when the engine's back in because they're really, you can do it. I had to do it on the pacemaker, it is what it is. But if I don't have to do it, I would rather not. So I'll get it all stuck together and it'll be all good. Okay, so I've got it bolted on, as you can see. Now this fit in here, which screws in, you actually need to have that screwed in to the um, to the strain casting, whatever you want to say. That one needs to be in because once it's in and bolted up, it actually you can't turn. This will hit the bottom of the frame. So um, anyway, it's on there now. Uh, that's what it looks like from the bottom. Just hangs down underneath, sort of protected by the front axle sort of thing. And, um, yeah, so that's on there. That's good to go now. Theoretically, the engine is ready to go back in. And uh, that's about all there is to it. Engine, we've got to get some felt. Uh, there's felt pieces inside that go, and they seal here. And there's another one at the front that seals around there. Um, and that's the... That's the engine in, so looking forward to dropping that back in, back in one piece. Uh, we didn't do a lot while it was out, but it was good to be able to clean up uh, all this, all the sludge that was in the bottom of the, uh, the sump and everything, so. All right, thanks for watching, guys. This will be a quick, short video. Wasn't much going on this video, but that's good. Chipping away, getting a little bit done. Thanks, like, subscribe, see you later. <laughs>